Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from AndroidDoll.com So you just went ahead and picked up an awesome new Galaxy Note 8 And the best part about it is this, the S Pen So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make full use of the S Pen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 And I'm gonna be going over all the settings that are available for the S Pen as well So if you're excited for that, definitely go ahead and hit on that subscribe button down below And let's get started with today's video So the first thing that you need to know about the S Pen is the air command window that we have over here. So uh, it has definitely got an upgrade this time around and it has got some new functions to it as well like the live messaging uh, function, then the translating function and also we have the big vision functionality and we can also add in uh, shortcuts uh, to this. Uh, so that uh, you can quickly open up any application that you want uh, For an example, I can uh, put in WhatsApp over here or I can put in YouTube over here as well And if you don't want anything you can remove them or you can even rearrange them right here So that's uh, pretty neat and uh, now you can just easily go ahead and scroll this This is a nice scrolling wheel I really like the appearance of this and how this functions so definitely this will be a highlighting feature uh, for any Galaxy Note 8 user because the main point of the Galaxy Note 8 is the S Pen so this will be the center of the whole thing and it has some settings as well this setting toggle will actually take you into the settings area for the S Pen so uh, having a quick dive at all these settings first of all we have the air view functionality which is the hovering functionality that we had uh, from those days in, even in the gallery you can hover over an image you can um, go in the web browser and just hover over the top or the bottom and the page will automatically scroll or you can hover over a link to see the preview as well so this is pretty neat and you can use the S Pen for that and also we have direct pen input uh, this is uh, where you can use the handwriting pad to uh, write whatever you want and get that done you can enable all of these functions from here and we have the pointer so this is the uh, pointer that we see um, when you want to change uh, something when you hover over, hover over something you will see this kind of pointer so that is what this pointer is all about and we have the screen off memo which is a highlighting feature um, that allows users to um, take notes at any time so like uh, let's say your device is just turned off and you want to take some notes no worries you have the S Pen just take it out and just start writing so I can say subscribe or whatever to uh, Android dollar and uh, like this video or oh, that my handwriting is horrible but then again this is uh, the uh, functionality of the off-screen memo you can just write down anything you want you can change the brush uh, size of it right over here and we have the eraser to erase anything and we can pin uh, the notes as well and it will be pinned to the always on display so that is pretty convenient if you write down an address or whatever you can easily pin it and once you're there you can remove it and you can save it to your notes as well so this is definitely a highlighting feature of the S Pen next we have the shortcuts where I showed you guys earlier where you can add or remove applications or settings from there and right after that we have the floating icon that is this and that is for the air command so you can move that around the screen if you don't like that you can remove it from here uh, in case you don't have that you can just go ahead and uh, press and hold this uh, button and just hover over the screen you don't have to touch it just hover over the screen like this and uh, if you do like this it will just uh, go ahead and open up the air command window so if you don't like to see that uh, icon over there you can easily disable that 
from there the next setting will allow you to set what you want to do when the s pen is removed so you can make it create a note automatically or you can let it do nothing so if you just want to use the s pen all the time for scrolling or whatever and if you don't want to see a command popping up all the time you can disable that and put do nothing as well then we have the alarm feature where the galaxy note device will actually alert you and tell you when you don't have the s pen uh, on your galaxy note 8 and when you just walk away it will give you a pop-up saying uh, hey your s pen is missing so uh, just make sure that you have it with you so that is definitely a really good thing to have on the device so definitely make sure that you have this uh, alarm enabled on the galaxy note 8 s pen settings and we also have a power saving um, functionality right here to detect the uh, detect when the s pen is um, being used so that's pretty great then under the feedback section we have the sounds and the vibrations for removal and uh, the writing on the screen as well this is a new thing that i really really love let me show you what i mean so if i quickly create a new note uh, from here so just listen to this when i'm writing it uh, has that sound of uh, someone writing on a piece of paper with a pen so it actually gets uh, louder when you um, uh, write it or uh, write on something fast or if you try to uh, move the pen fast it will actually give that effect or if you try to write slowly it will show give that effect as well so let me uh, shut up a bit now and show you guys what i actually mean so let me change the color to blue and let me scroll down and show you guys what i mean so listen to this So yeah, that is that and I really really like that sound effect. I think that's a really nice touch and um, in this uh, uh, note uh, window you can actually minimize it if you want and you can just uh, take it around wherever you want or you can just uh, maximize it as well and you can actually use your hand to uh, scroll through this uh, page as well and you can use this uh, note functionality to change the pen you can change the pen style you can change the style of it you can select the highlighting tool you can select a pencil or whatever you want um, to draw some awesome artworks on this device and you can you have the color wheel you can select any color you want and you can do anything so uh, if you are creative just use your creativity if you do something creative tweet them at me i am on twitter at andrew dollar and i will definitely retweet my favorites apart from all of that we also have the good old smart select where you can select a part of the screen and uh, capture that and send it to anyone you want or you can even extract the text from uh, a screen so let's try that right now so as you see it works really well so uh, it extracted the weather information from this screenshot so you can directly copy the information in that or you can share it as well or you can make it auto select or you can use Bixby vision with that as well so let me try that one more time let me select these icons and uh, let me try the extract text and uh, as you see it got everything selected very very nicely and it's pretty accurate as well so this is definitely a nice thing to have on your device um, you can also change the uh, type of it as well and you can also use this to create a gif animation for a video as well definitely a nice thing to have on your device so um the next thing is the screen write functionality this is the same old uh, screenshot functionality where you can uh, highlight something draw on it say uh, the uh, like if you want to highlight this area and say something uh, let's say galaxy note 
8 and you can just highlight that you can change the pen and uh, do whatever you want and you can highlight whatever whatever and yeah that's about it you can undo if you want you can crop it you can share it or you can save it onto your device as well so let me quickly discard that and uh, moving on to the next functionality it's the live messaging functionality and uh, this is the new feature that samsung showed off this time and i think it's pretty awesome so just uh, have a look at this so i have already posted some pieces of this over on my facebook page so i'm pretty sure that most of you guys might have already seen them so it looks pretty amazing so you can uh, use this to create any gif that you want you can change the color you can say uh, galaxy note 8 or if you're a good artist you can draw whatever uh, so i'm not a good artist but let me try to draw a stick person all right so uh, i have that i can go ahead and press done and once i do that it will automatically create it as a gif and it will let me see that animation i can now go ahead and share this anywhere i want twitter facebook whatever whatever uh, or you can even send it on whatsapp so this is pretty awesome the next functionality is the translation functionality where you can hover over a text you can select the language from here and however whatever text that you have and it will translate uh, automatically it's pretty awesome i even showed that off in my top 10 tips for the galaxy note 8 definitely go ahead and check out that video if you want to know more about that i will have a card right over here so definitely go ahead and check it out i will also have the link down below in the description the final thing we have on the air uh, command window is the Bixby vision and uh, what this will do is you can hover over anything you want for an example if I want to hover over the YouTube icon I can do that and it will get detected from there I can uh, see the image it will search that image to show me some uh, related things and also uh, I can uh, search over that and see the text of it so it will search for this and uh, it will analyze the image and extract the text as well and also i can go into the shopping cart and see if uh, if there are any matching products found as well in this occasion it is not working because this is just uh, an icon but if you're just browsing around the web and if you want to find some product you can definitely do this to find something that you want and i really think this will be a really handy thing so i'm really excited about the s pen and definitely let's not forget the most important part about the s pen and that is the part where you can actually do this listen to this yeah just like one of those old pens you can still do this on the s pen and it works great i mean i love doing this when I'm just chilling and when I'm just uh, thinking about something or when I'm just uh, thinking for an idea, this is great. So definitely I'm a fan of that and I'm a fan of all the S Pen features that are bundled into the Galaxy Note 8 and I'm really excited to use this device uh, throughout the next few days to bring you guys my full review of the device. So definitely stay tuned right here on Android Dollar to know the latest about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If you follow me on social media, you will get an early sneak peek and behind the scenes look at most of the things that are coming up in the channel. And definitely go ahead and subscribe as well. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, definitely go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe to Android Dollar right here on YouTube for more awesome Galaxy Note 8 coverage right here on Android Auto. You can go ahead and hit on that notification bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified each and every time I make a new video here on YouTube. And you can follow me on social media. I am at Android Auto for all the behind the scenes and updates as well. Stay tuned to AndroidAuto.com for all the latest from the tech world. And if you have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them as a comment down below. And until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu, signing out.